here we are again on the windshield wiper I just replaced the motor it was really fun to get at and if this is for a 1989 Ford F-250 XL it's got the big motor it's got the 460 in it and if you are gonna do one of these I do suggest you take that take that panel off it's not that hard take a little bit of time takes the extra time hey I didn't want to do it but there's like five screws up there at the top screws over here and then all the way across it's actually worth it to take it off it leaves a lot of aggravation and surprisingly enough it'll probably job will probably go quick so I do suggest taking that off but get back on it when uh, when I get everything together another reason why I suggest taking it off is if you see right there that clip that clip is going to be a lot easier to uh, pull out of there and put back on while this while the cow is off so just take the extra time take the cowl off that didn't take me that hard it wasn't that hard wasn't that uh, long to put that clip back there but that's one of the reasons the other reason is the clearance on those bolts all right I'm back got it all set up there's the new end. There's the new motor. And I also did replace the... I had to replace the uh, switch here. And the only reason I had to replace the switch is... And as you can see... It's no longer, no longer stopping. Everything works. So I'm happy. I believe that is now fixed. Now let me show you what happened with the switch. I'm pretty sure that the culprit was the motor. Because when I was running it uh, a little bit earlier, I put my hand on it and it didn't nearly get as hot as that thing so i'm thinking that thing was just it, it was overheating and probably shorting out and stopping so there you go full diagnosis it was that wiper motor let me show you the let me show you the switch i don't know why they did that as you can see i tried to put some solder on it and it eventually came off, so I had to replace the switch. No biggie, I think it was only 16 bucks. I think total for that wiper motor and the switch on Rock Auto, I think was like 64 bucks or something like that. So, you know, you can't beat that. That's why I replaced it. You know, it's stupid. There's no way to get rid of that, unless you try and drill it out. You know, and what are you hitting in the back there? So, you know, there you go. Thanks to my father-in-law who told me to do all the tricks and tips and stuff like that. So, let's see if we can get this off. I'm just really thinking yeah, who cares if it's broke if it breaks but yeah there it is again you know and that's what I'm thinking I'm thinking it was just it was overheating I mean look at the look at the prongs so there we go all done 
And it didn't take, I mean, yeah, okay, it took me a while to do it, but this isn't my daily driver. Just to show you, you take your time. And if you diagnose it the first time, that motor, I think, on Rock Auto was like 34 36 bucks or something like that. Or it might have been 26 I can't remember. But there you go. You probably would have been looking at like maybe like a $200 job for that. Maybe even more because you had to take the cowl off. I wonder what the book says on how much that'll run you. You know, so... Good tip and trick, you know, take that cowl off, take your time, it's just screws, you know, where I used to live at in Ohio, you're probably looking at more of a pain in the butt to do that because everything's going to, all those screws and stuff like that are going to be rusted, but this is a Midwest truck, so I was able to actually get everything off, and to everybody that's in Ohio that wants to do that, spray those, uh, spray those screws with a PB blaster and let it sit for about a week. There we are. All set, all done. Ready to rock and roll.